Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at function notation with points on a graph. So let's begin. Okay, so with function notation with points on a graph, one of the main things you need to be aware of is whether you're going down the x axis, like so. You see where the yellow is? Or you're going down the y axis, like so. Like that okay now if you're given a f of a number see how the numbers inside the parentheses you'll go down the x-axis if you're given f of x is equal to a number you'll go down the y-axis that's gonna be the main thing you need to know again if you have f of a number go down the x-axis if you have f of x is equal to that number, go down the y-axis. All right, so let's look at some examples. So on this one, we have f of negative 1, f of a number. So we're going to go down the x-axis. Okay. And that f of negative 1 is right here. Right? So... We go down the x-axis, okay, until we find uh, until we find where it meets on this point here. And it meets at that point, and that's the point we need. That's point D. So that's the answer. It's that easy. Let's look at another example. Okay, here you have f of 5. So we'll go down the x-axis until we get to 5. Boom, see the 5 here? And we go down, we see B, and we want that. This one is not a multiple choice with the letters, but it wants to know what the Y is. It says uh, the graph of Y is equal to F of X. According to the graph, what is F of 5? Meaning they want to know what the Y is. What is that Y number here? Okay, so that Y number is going to be negative 4. So negative 4 is the correct answer. All right, let's look at another one. Okay, so here's one more with f of a number. So that means we go down the x-axis to 2. And we get right here to where the a is. And we need to know what that y is for that a. And it's going to be negative 6. See that? So negative 6 is our answer. So that's f of the number. That means you're looking at the x-axis. All right, now... Let's look at f of x is equal to negative 4, or f of x is equal to the number. We're going to go down the y-axis. So on this first one, I'm going to go all the way down to negative 4. Boom. Start right here. And see what that point is. What is that point in connection to the number that it goes with here? I'm going to try to come down here. And you can see that that goes to positive 1 on the x-axis. So that's going to be 1. All right, let's look at another one. All right, so here, f of 0, which means we'll go all the way down. Uh -oh. Go all the way down to 0 on the y-axis. And it's going to be this point here, this negative 4. Right? It's right there. All right, let's look at one more. Again, this is f of x is equal to the number. So we come down the y-axis. And we come down to we get to 1. It's that point D here. And we need to know what is the x on that. What is the x? And it is negative 1. So negative 1 is our answer. Okay. So again, the main thing is to make sure that you pay attention to whether it is uh, f of a number which means you go down the x-axis I get this to do right or f of x is equal to the number which means you go down the y-axis okay but that's it that is function notation with points on the graph thank you for checking out Mr. Weir's videos have a nice day